Hundreds of fugitives walk our streets every night. So who is there to protect you from the bad guys when the cops are busy or just don't have enough manpower? ABC 15 Steve Cooge takes us inside the underground world of Arizona bounty hunters. These people by day could be a co-worker of yours, but by night they hunt the wanted. Is that a 10 4? Which way did he go? He knows he's got a warrant. Like an animal, they track their prey. A lot of times we're dealing with gang members, Mexican mafia. The deadliest, most unpredictable kind of prey. Who you are, you looking for, man? Man. At times it's very dangerous. At times it'll take your breath away. They are Arizona's bounty hunters. Stacey O'Connell and... Double A copy. Double A, whose face we've blurred for his family's protection. Together they run Fugitive Recovery Services of Arizona. In just over two years, they tell me they've caught more than 100 wanted men and women. Arizonans in trouble for everything from drug trafficking to murder. Mervyn Walker, 11,000 bucks. He bounced five to six days ago. Every cop in Phoenix is looking for him. Tonight, Mr. Walker here is wanted for robbing a gas station and grand theft auto. The bounty hunters hit the roads of Phoenix, scouting out homes and locations they know he's been. O'Connell and AA always split up. One checks the front, while the other goes around back. Yeah, 10 4, go. Hey, this car he's supposedly jacked. Is he supposed to be rolling in that car? Don't know, didn't say. Why does a person become a bounty hunter? O'Connell says it was something he always wanted to do, although he has a comparatively pretty boring white collar day job where his co-workers have no idea what he does you know at night. You know why we're here? Hmm? We're looking for a fugitive. Yeah. Okay? I don't know where he is. The family member and the uh, girlfriend know where the dad is, where our defendant is. They're just not talking yet. Following a tip, they pay a visit to our fugitive's son's home, and things get tense. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground! Fast. Get back here! The duo quickly subdues the runner in an alley. Is it their guy? Hell, I don't know who you're looking for. What's your date of birth? No. O'Connell and AA call off the search for Walker. He's free for at least one more night, but the odds are against him. Stacy and AA have a 95% capture success rate. Next target. AKA Ronnie Mack. Uh, he's got a long list of priors dating back to 04, egg DUI, theft, some traffic charges, drug charges. This is his photograph back in 2001. This is him currently. You can see what the drugs have done. Ronnie's paper trail leads them to a home in Glendale. A woman who drives up assures them they have the right place. Mac is apparently seeing her daughter. She's been missing, and I came to look at her, look for her. This is Ronnie's house over here because he didn't show yeah, up. Yeah, 10 4. Ronnie! Hold up, I need to do What you need to do? Sit down. Put your hands up. Put, hands step up. back. Step back. Step back. Put your hands Put your robe on. Your Previous experience tells us the guy could be hiding anywhere, anywhere from the attic and the rafters to a bedroom, under a bed, in a closet, who knows, and God knows what he's got on him. Mac Ooh. goes peacefully. He knows what bounty hunters are. I've dealt with them once before. They're yeah. just doing their job. Fugitive handed over to the authorities, bounty collected. Uh -huh. One more off the street. And one more for the wall. Steve Couge, ABC 15 News.